Truly truck, yeah, that's my choice to ride. We're gonna start this journey on 2K10 where they first introduced the blacktop online for your mob players. It was very, very fun. The whole idea of it was just to bring your mob players and play 5v5 pickup four quarters. It wasn't crew because you mainly you could not invite your friends. You had to go into matchmaking and meet random players. That's what made it a pickup style. It was extremely fun for the time being. I know the gameplay seems a little dated and it seems a little iffy, but the connections were terrible. That's what made it so hard to play. Ah, the connection back then was so trash. Some of you say 2K servers still are this trash. Nevertheless, you could not play as many games as you could now. They had many different courts. They had the cage that we were just on. This one is Venice Beach. I'm, I like the difference in the courts they had here. It was a very open, beautiful, bright court. That's why I love Venice Beach. My least favorite was the darker courts, and we're going to get into that later. This last court we're going to talk about is Rucker. You can see how it's not exactly Rucker, but you can see it's inspired by it. 2K tried at the day. I like what they tried to do with it. I'm not mad at them for giving us a little variety, keeping the courts realistic. I don't really like the fake courts now. I wish they would go with a more realistic approach, but beggars can't be choosers. Always keep some bitches on the side, yeah, yeah. 2K11, we're still doing matchmaking where you can't invite your friends, so it's 100% random teammates and it's a 5v5 setting. Servers were so bad you never could really get into a 5v5. You most likely only could play 3v3s. And here's what I'm talking about with the darker courts. There was only car lights lighting it and a couple street lights above. Like you see how darker and gloomy this is compared to the Venice Beach of the last game. I loved playing on this court, but mind you, playing on a dark court after a while, it kind of makes you feel uneasy about this setting. You like something bright and vibrant, this isn't a good look for you. Gameplay was very fun, it's just that again, 2K with server issues, people will most of the time get lagged out. 2K12 had zero multiplayer for my players, so we gotta skip that. She gonna kill. Now jumping into 2K13 with the introduction of VC and still matchmaking involved didn't take as much time as it do now to get into a game this is all in real speed check it out synchronizing the game info and then you get the 3v3 just like we have now on the park and as you can see they have ranking system next to each player name the green is rookie the blue is pro the white is superstar or all-star i know that gold one is hall of fame the very last one you can be but i'm pretty sure white was superstar i don't remember what all-star looked like but i'm pretty sure the white was the all-star level uh either way it was a great ranking system just like we have in today's 2k it just slipped most of you mind that they did start this in prior years now there was only one court to play on just like in 2k11 but it was a very half court just simple setting nothing too major just very simple gameplay just 3v3 half court no full courts available this all you could play on 2k13 and it was a very fun experience i thought that i was going to get bored of it but the gameplay was so good that it it had a lot of replay value even though there was no new court there was no full court game goes to 21 it was extremely fun Way before they call me sensei, get robbed in the drive. Now we move on to 2K14 where they got rid of matchmaking completely. There was a whole got next thing. You had to wait for the games to complete before you could get into them, which takes a lot of time. Definitely since the game goes to 21, and that is by ones and twos. That's difficult to swallow. Ones and twos to 21. The gameplay was amazing. Probably the most fun park experience 2K has ever made. It was simple pick up and play. It was simple basketball. It was an amazing gameplay. Beautiful, vibrant court. I loved it. It's all good, God save me. Now I'm doing what I want. Now they decided to add a variety of courts. They added the ability to choose 
something to be a part of so you can feel like you're a part of something instead of just playing random basketball with your friends you can feel like you're a part of a, a community when you separate yourselves into each one of these teams as well as the ability to play a higher level of basketball with the stage and then they added a new court to whoever of those three affiliations would win the tournament day it was a great idea to bring variety and a whole lot of fun to the game just more than just playing basketball you have something to play for in your mind you felt like you were a part of a community and your community had to win to get a reward i love that idea as well as they brought back the ranking system that they had in 2k13 where you start off as a rookie and you play enough gameplay to earn xp to become a legend or legend 3 in this scenario it was a very fun unlocking experience. There wasn't much unlocks because this was the first time ever doing this, but it felt like you were playing for something every time you picked up the game. Whether it was to play for your affiliation, whether it was to rank up your mob player to get new unlocks, they gave you a lot of reasons to keep playing this game, which makes a whole lot of sense. Rather than 2K14, there was nothing much to play for, but the game was still that much fun. That's what makes 2K14 special. I'ma let that leaf flow through my eyes. 2K16, the same affiliations came back and they gave them a new cosmetic, which gave them a fresh feel, which gave it feel like you're playing a new game in a new environment for another year to go and fight for the championship of your affiliation. This year, Rivet won and they gave them a brand new look of a high rise it was a complete upgrade from what ribbit was used to inside of a warehouse which made it an amazing new court for the rivet players it was an exciting look i loved every second of it as for the ranking system they made it go up to a legend five that year i loved the whole we got something else to play towards a whole nother leveling system i would like to see them do a prestige system in their game 2k is the only game that doesn't have a prestige system where you reset your ranks just to level up again and get new looks for your ranks it don't go it ain't gonna add anything new to your mob player it's just a new look like most games do 2k is the only game that really doesn't do it but they're still trying to experiment with their whole xp system and i respect them for that at least they're trying to improve their multiplayer gameplay now here's a problem they kept the same cosmetic for every affiliation in the very next game which made it seem like they didn't put much time into the actual game itself we could at least got a new cosmetic they even went far enough to bring back courts from the very first game and the only thing they really added was the park after dark which have a whole lot of issues in its server the game is very unplayable when you try to do the park after dark which brings in a lot of problems to their game now as for the ranking system they decided to go add a complete new level which is called superstar you have to reach superstar 5 then you can become legend which takes a whole lot of gameplay I love the fact that they're improving their ranking system, but that legend is nothing to turn your nose up at. They wanted you to take all year to get it. We're talking at least 9,000 games in their park. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know if how many people are going to do it, but we do have people that reached it already, and the game has only been out halfway. How many people will reach legend at the end of it compared to the last two years of people that maxed out rep? I have no idea they don't give us those type of stats but is this a goal is this a better look in the right direction do you want it to be harder to reach the top rank will you be reaching the top rank is a great question to be asking in this scenario that's what we're looking for in this will you be reaching top rank in any of these games have you in the past and are you going to this year is it too much of a grind is the rewards not that good so you don't feel like you need to be playing these are questions that 2K has to be asking themselves every year. They come out with a ranking system, and you can see they're trying to move in the right direction. That 2K18 isn't going to have park at all. On top of that, even if they do have park, will they spend time to make us new courts? What will the ranking system look like 
a whole lot of questions for the upcoming 2K. Will 2K pull through? That's all we want to know. Because they got a whole lot on their plate with this E-League. How much time they're going to spend on the Mob Park. Because this year, they seem like they didn't spend that much time with it. They had great ideas with retro courts, but where's the new courts looking to the future? All we need to know is what's up with this Rival Day Championship. What's up with creating new courts, new environments, making the park fun for everybody. 